Greetings, and thank you for another opportunity to come your way and spend time with you. It's always a joy to be able to spend a few moments in the Word of God and in prayer and just to encourage you in your walk with God. This week, we've been talking about what time is it? Emphasizing the importance of you and I asking that question as we journey with God so that we can recognize the season of life that we are in, that God has orchestrated for us because our times are in His hands, so that we can order our life according to that. Today we want to highlight another kind of time, another kind of season that God brings into our lives. It is those times of transition that God orchestrates in our lives. Transition time are times when we are leaving one thing and moving to the next. It's the in-between time, the time in between seasons, the time in between assignments, the time in between one phase to another. So for example, you think about a person who's been single, and then they move into marriage. They get married. But in between, there's a transition. There's a time when things are going to be changing. And when they get married, the initial time, initial stage would be a real transition time because they have to change and adjust from being a person who was single, being a person who was married. Life is undergoing a lot of transition, a lot of change. We must recognize that. So in life, there can be many seasons like this. Many seasons of transition. You're leaving the old and stepping into the new. You're leaving what was and stepping into what is. Transition times require change from us. The problem is we hold on to the past. We, are hold, on, we hold on to the way we are accustomed to doing things. But in order for us to step into the new, in order for us to go through this time of transition, we must be willing to change. Let go and take on. Release and receive during your time of transition so that God can bring you into the new thing He's doing in your life. And we see this in the lives of so many people. I'll just point to an, ex an example. John the Baptist came as a forerunner of Jesus Christ. And he had, he did his preaching, the disciples followed John. But when the Lord Jesus came, John the Baptist pointed to Jesus and said, He is the Lamb of God. And very interestingly, the Bible says the disciples of John left him and followed Jesus. They transitioned. They moved from what God did to what God is doing. They moved. But that was very important. And so also in our lives, we must recognize transition times. Be willing to let go. Be willing to receive the new so that you can move into what God is doing. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us recognize times of transition. Unstable as they may be, when things are in a state of flux, in a state of change, help us to go through those transitions in a way that will prepare us for what's up ahead. Help us recognize and journey with you through times of transition. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.